Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. Sorry it's been a while since I've posted any videos. I've uh, been a little busy at home. But uh, today's video here we got some uh, arcade machines. Lego made arcade machines. Um, I actually got this idea off Pinterest. I uh, thought they were really cool. Really like the shape of them. Uh, just think they're a really neat idea. I plan on making a little arcade in my city here soon and I'll be putting a bunch of these in there. Uh, but I figured since I was making a few of them, I would sit and make a quick instructional video on how you can make your own at home, too. So stay tuned, and we'll see that next. And here's a, a picture to show you all the pieces you're going to be needing here today to uh, build the arcade machine. The one I'm going to build today, uh, it's not, not nothing specific. I'm going to call it the Captain America because it's red, white, and blue. Uh, kind of patriotic. Anyway, again, it's a really simple thing to do. Take your plate, put two of these tiles on the back side of it, and you're going to use these little one by pegs, so that way you got it all the way down like so. <clears throat> this is going to be the screen that you're supposed to be displaying on. I'd love to have some printed tiles to put there, I think it would look better, but working with what I have. Take this and you put the little joystick, is what I'm calling it anyway, inside the socket there and pop that down. And then, oop, almost forgot. Because we want to see that it's going black all the way through. Put that there. Put that little kick panel there. Put the white panel on the front. And again, you can do this in any color or style that you want. Uh, I just thought it would be kind of neat to, to make what I'm calling the Captain America version. Like I said, because it's red, white, and blue. So it is patriotic. And I popped that piece off on accident. <clears throat> this one on this side. Excuse my fingernails. My... Uh, truck recently broke down so I know they're not the cleanest looking in the world they're stained with oil I just finished working on it today so <laughs> please bear with me anyway I'm gonna put these pieces here and again you can use any style uh, combination or whatever I, I tried to use in all of mine that I built and there you go that's the completed arcade there um, and all the ones that I built, I tried to use official uh, Lego pieces, like this one, this particular piece came from Harry Potter. Uh, I believe it was his uncle that was in the fire, I forget the name of the set. Um, I know this particular set that I used, I don't remember what these pieces came from, but this was from like the Robin Hood sets. And like this particular one, this was from an, uh, a news crew set if I remember correctly. And this came with a minifig. I don't remember which minifig it was, but anyway, there you have it. Those are some arcade machines. It's just giving you examples of different colors and different ways you could do it. Uh, because this particular uh, tile had two uh, Lego minifig heads on it, I made it a two-player game, and I figured the rest of them could be single-player. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on making a lot more here soon. Uh, also, what I've been working on is a very, very big train station. I uh, tore my original train station apart. It just didn't fit no matter where I wanted to put it in the city. Um, so I've started on a new one, of which my next video I will probably show you some of the things I've been doing with that. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for coming to Bevan's Bricks.